So there's actually something that is far better than lucid dreaming sex. And for some reason, nobody seems to do it. And I think I know why. And I did make a video about this before, which went viral, but this one, I'm gonna go into a bit more detail on this. So what most people will do is they'll learn, they'll start learning, learning how to lucid dream. They'll, you know, figure out some techniques, get some success and results, okay? And then what inevitably happens is you'll start having like sex, just random sex with dream characters uh, or celebrities, friends, people, co-workers, I don't know, whatever it is you guys do, right? And, that, and that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. It can be fun, it can be exciting, but in my opinion, it's just, not only is it like not one of the most profound things you can do, but it's also taking away from your ability to focus. Because when you have these sorts of dreams, what happens is you often wake yourself up. Like, this is what I, I get told from people all the time. is like, it just makes you wake up so quickly. You lose focus, you lose lucidity. And, you know, kind of what's the point? if you're just going to lose a lucid dream and lucid dreaming is kind of rare and difficult to begin with so if you finally have a lucid dream and then you spend that having a few seconds of fun with a dream character okay fine you had your, you had your fun but then you've now lost the lucid dream you've lost the opportunity to do all of the amazing things you could be doing in that lucid dream and you've cut it short basically uh which is not good one thing i've noticed as well is that a lot of beginners tend to use lucid dreaming to do kind of what I call surface level things. Things like flying, having sex, fighting, um, you know, jumping and run, running into a, I don't know, a superstore, whatever it is, okay? I call them surface level things because these things are quite basic, they're quite simple, and they often are quite exciting, and they kind of engage your fight or flight response in some way, and they basically just release a load of dopamine and then you just end the lucid dream. They're not what I call spiritual or profound, really, in any way. They are kind of video game style things. And that's fine, because I know a lot of you are actually video gamers and you just dis maybe discovered lucid dreaming through video gaming. I, I get that, that's fine. But what I would encourage you to do is to move beyond this kind of video game mentality with lucid dreams and try and see it more as an actual uh, spiritual and profound tool Okay, that you can actually use to improve your life. Don't, at least try not to see it all the time as just this video game, this mindless kind of virtual reality world where you just do whatever seems fun. Okay, I know that, I know that's tempting, I know that's fun, but you're ultimately, you're, you're the one that's missing out, ultimately. It's not like I'm saying, you know, Steph's saying you can't do this, so that's the rules. No, it's not like that. It's more like, you are the one who, had, who is actually going to miss out on better experiences if you focus on those surface level things too much. And what you do is you end up training your brain to like to look for the simple and the quick fixes, the simple instant fun, instant gratification. Instead of just putting a little bit of work in, a, a little bit of patience, and then experiencing something actually that's better. So uh, there are much, much more profound, interesting, better things you can do with lucid dreaming that are far better than lucid dreaming sex. Things like healing, your physical and mental body and energy, and energy centers, right? Manifestation, manifesting in the real world, the life you want, right? Whether it's financial abundance, health, wealth, whatever it is, you can, and you know, adventures, different amazing experiences, friends, relationships, you can use lucid dreaming to actually manifest and bring those things into your real life. I bet you didn't know that, did you? But you can, and you, but you can't do that if you focus on so much on the surface level things in the lucid dream, because then it is just a, like a video game. Then it's just like this virtual reality world where you basically just, once it's over, that's it. Once you come out, once you wake up, the dream is over, you've exited the game, and that's the end of it. But if you focus on the more interesting things that I'm gonna tell you, maybe in other videos, you can actually bring these more profound things back into your real life instead of it just being in a dream. There's some other things as well, like removing real life fears. Like you might have, in, somewhere inside your mind, you, have, you might have a, a doubt, a limiting belief, a fear. With lucid dreaming, when you use it properly, you can actually go in to your mind, your subconscious mind, and take out, remove those fears and doubts and limiting beliefs. You can, and, and then that result will stay with you in the real world. It's crazy, it literally is crazy. Like you can actually go in and kind of fix or improve or upgrade your mind, your real mind, and then take those results back with you 
into your actual life. You can also do, as you probably know, you can do things like learning and improving at real life skills, things that you can take with you into real life. And, you know, this you can use this for simple things, like I've used this for uh, improving how good I am at flying drones. You can use it for writing songs, music, chord progressions, whatever, okay? Or you can use it for much more interesting and profound things, like you can use it for uh, d getting guidance on where you want to go in life, your purpose, uh, your hidden skills or talents or abilities. You can really use this for anything, but you need to get out of this video game mindset. So if you take one thing away from this, this video, it's that you should try to stop seeing lucid dreaming as just this kind of mindless virtual reality fun zone, okay? And instead see it as actually a continuation of your real life. They, the two things interrelate with each other. So your lucid dreaming stuff, let's say, it has an impact on your real life and your real life has an impact on your dreaming life. They're, they're not these two separate things where it's just like you close your eyes and put on the virtual reality headset. Do you see? They, they are actually kind of connected in many ways, more ways than I can explain in one video. Um, so that's, that's all I would encourage you to do is just to start to see it as one thing instead of two separate things. And then just from that perspective shift, you hopefully will start to want to do different things in the lucid dream, not just, you know, pointless things. Anyway, that's it for now.